fMRI stands for Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, a new technology for visualizing the brain developed in the 1990s by Dr. Ogawa. In order to collect fMRI data, a research participant must lay flat on the table that wheels into the MRI machine. If fMRI data is being collected about a specific region of the brain, a coil may be placed over the participant's head to obtain clearer data. The final necessary piece of equipment is a magnetic resonance imaging tube that the participants are wheeled into. Usually, research scanners have a magnetic field shrink of 3 teslas, or 3 t's. fMRI imaging measures brain activity by detecting changes in blood flow in the brain. It is reliant on the fact that cerebral blood flow and neuronal activation are coupled. More specifically, higher brain activity is directly proportional to an increased blood flow. The signal is measured by the two types of hemoglobin in the blood, deoxygenated and oxygenated hemoglobin. Oxygenated blood is diamagnetic and repelled by magnetic fields, whereas deoxygenated hemoglobin is paramagnetic and attracted to the magnetic fields in the MRI tube. Seiji Ogawa proposed that deoxygenated blood rushes to a brain region and disrupts the magnetic field. The magnetic resonance signal is subsequently weaker. Conversely, an increased concentration of oxygenated blood in a brain region corresponds with a larger magnetic resonance signal. Overall, a high magne mag magnetic resonance signal corresponds with increased neural activity in a specific brain region. The procedure is non-invasive and does not require any radiation. However, participants must remove all metal from their person, and those with metal joint replacements or hardware from surgeries may be unable to undergo an fMRI scan due to complications with the magnetic field. The spatial resolution of the technology refers to the ability of the technology to indicate which brain region is active, whereas temporal res resolution refers to the ability of the technology to indicate when that brain area was active. Conversely, the technology is notorious for having low temporal resolution, meaning fMRIs are not necessarily good indicators of when a specific brain region was active. There are many advantages to using fMRI as the technology for brain visualization. First, the technique is non-invasive and does not require radiation like x-rays, CT scans, or PET scans. The images produced have high resolution and detail are detailed in one millimeter. The machine is relatively easy to use, and it helps scientists evaluate brain structure and function relationship. However, the technology is expensive compared to other imaging techniques. Patients must stay still to capture clear images, and patient movement can affect image quality. Experts are still not completely clear about how the technology works. And since fMRIs only look at blood flow, individual neurons cannot be studied effectively. fMRIs are commonly used to determine which parts of the brain are handling critical functions. This process is called brain mapping. Brain mapping can map things like thought, speech, movement, sensation, memory, and other cognitive functions. Although the scientific community still has much to learn about the capacity and mechanism of this technology, fMRI visualization has already led to new abilities to understand the human brain and new clinical applications to improve quality of life.